and side control. I'm trying to block this head. I don't want his head, my head to be grabbed yet, okay? Now, I initially stick this knee on the inside. And another little thing we can combine with another one of our techniques for the Path of Blue, but also a good game to understand, is going to be that spider bait. If I bring this double knee in the same way and bring the knee out wide, and now I'm holding his elbow, and I'm also holding his wrist with my elbow. You see that? And I have his, I have it either in the armpit or at the end of the knee. Or sorry, at the end of the elbow, in, inside the elbow where the shin is. Now, if I grab outside here or underneath his leg, I can sweep him. Sometimes I can still get the sweep here. It's just a little bit less control in my opinion. Or even here. But if I'm able to turn him so he rides my shins, he can't put his hand on the mat and he comes into a spider bait sweep that we've done before. Right? We just didn't do it from traditional side. We're just doing it from this position right here. So I'm blocking the cross face. I bring this knee in. I bring the next one out. You guys see what I'm talking about? But here's the real beauty in this. If Ryan, you're going to have to come to the head more. If Ryan shoves my knee in, go ahead, like you want to pass, go ahead and pass. Right? Grabs my head. I will always have wiggle room with this knee in. Look, I have my forearm. If he grabs my head, he's not in control of this arm. So I can wiggle back out and get my forearm, or sorry, my, my shin back inside. You know, whether I wanted to go to full guard or whether I want to take my hand, slide back and put him into this kind of position to make more space to start to come in for these kind of attacks or sweeps. So if you wanted to make more space and go to a spider guard type, type game, you could. Or you could just sweep him with it, or you can cause it to be able to hip escape more again. Make sense, guys? Yes, sir. For the guys who like to wrestle a lot, as I hip escape this knee and this next one comes in and I hook, I can also use it for the guys who maybe a little bit more advanced, you know how to kick up to half guard, or if you have a basic understanding of the underhooks, I can kick that leg up to come up to start wrestling. So you pretty much have your self-defense, or not self-defense, your, your uh, 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 series of defenses that you can do for yourself in the direction you like. If you like to kick up and get an underhook and wrestle, by all means do it. If you want to stay back on your back or you need to because of the situation of that fight and you finish hip escaping, then fine. Or you can sweep them. <clears throat> we stay in this. I do this game a lot with Levi. I, I, I'm inside here. I get this arm out and now I'm here like this. I do with you too, huh? So I'm, here's the other good one. We don't, like, I'm here, I have, as long as my knees stay tight, I have an inverted arm lock in this arm. Right? So I have both of these but, the, but I never really attack the subs to be honest and I never really get Side control. I usually go for the sweep. Or not side control. I never get full guard. He, he tries to get the side control. He'll shove the knee in. Go ahead. He'll shove the knee in. He'll come around and I'm like, no. Right? He keeps trying to come. Keep trying to pass, buddy. Right? I got the cross face block. Or you saw that? So when his hand touches my knee, I got the grind. Now he's elevated his hips. Now I can sweep him even easier. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, if you guys have that basic spider guard concept already of that baiter or that that uh, spider bait i call it you're baiting the pass right spider bait we're calling it whatever all right come on back right don't flip and land on a little wise okay I'm blocking the cross face this is huge we're not doing this like this guys okay i'm here hip escape second knee comes in and i'm out wide with this one okay if you want to just learn how to do it you can just shift them shift them i can go underneath and I can grab the pants, and I can I'll tilt, make him ride my shin. Okay, I'd like for him not to fall that way. I was trying to do a super slow. <coughs> I'd like for him to go over his shoulder, you see, so I can come up into knee on belly. Still got his elbow and his pant or whatnot. Because if I were to get to this kind of position, and Ryan were to have his right leg up, I'm not going to sweep him that way. It's impossible. His legs there, so I'll have to go over his shoulder. Make sense, guys? Yes, sir. All right. So let's play the game just a little bit more. One more second here. You can go back and forth for this, with this several times. I'm inside, hit the skate. Knee comes out wide. Go ahead, pass. Show the knee, pass. Over, under, do whatever. There you go. Keep going, pass. Keep passing the guard. <coughs> you see how the shin is what I make him float on. The shin on his belly is what he's really battling. He can't get his other arm free. Believe me, he wants to get his arm free around your shin. 
So he's trying to pull that off. So make sure that it's like this. Elbow, and I'm blocking his wrist with my elbow. Okay? In actuality, if I were to lose this and he put his hand on the ground, like down there, and I don't have this anymore, I'd rather go to his hand to bring it back to here. You know what I'm saying? I feel this control is better than here in this position. Once I get out to maybe here, I can switch to that. You know what I'm saying? So have him pass, push his hip. You notice that I can push him into a triangle. Like if I'm here and he pushes with his hand on the knee, I've got his hand blocked. Right? You keep passing with that? Right? And you have a shoulder down. You were shoulder down when you passed. There you go. Like I'm going to start to twist them. I have that movement, right? Come back up. No, no, there you go. So like I can keep my hand on the fist. I can keep my head on the hip when he tries to grab my head. Right? I can push away from that head grab. I can get this guy. Never even let go of him. I'm here he shoves the knee. Look, if he puts the hand on the knee, that's where I get his wrist control. Or instead of holding his wrist, I can push on his hip and scoot my knee back in. So I can control his wrist when he comes in, or I can control his shin. And if he ever were to put his hand on the, on the leg like, like this, and I had more movement, I can always strip and pass into a triangle. You see what I'm saying? If I can go over his free hand. But like I was saying before, the real, the real game is here. This is what really happens for me. He tries to push, right? Tries to come over. I try and get that knee block, and I end up sweeping him over his shoulder as he's trying to pass. That little moment of balance where he's up in the air and he's trying to shove, he's trying to get over your knee, that's the time to sweep him. Ready, set.